looking at what we've just talked about, unless you are the type of person who doesn't want better insights into their work, you should hopefully be wondering how to get started. And I like to have a plan. Now, if it's not too meta, um, here's your roadmap to using advanced roadmaps. Uh, I've honed and changed this approach over the years, and, and I promise I think this is the simplest and easiest way to get started. First up, define your planning cycle. Now, when starting out with the tool, you're often thinking bottom up. You've got your stories and your tasks and your bugs, and you're now thinking about how to roll those up into epics and into initiatives in that large view. But think about the real process. The work started actually as an initiative, and it was broken down into smaller chunks. And planning is the journey of mapping that from the large ill-defined initiative down to the delivery of the stories and the tasks that to fill it. And as this is an agile plan, that process is iterative. So think about that. Think about where the work comes from, those big initiatives, who prioritizes them, who guesses how big they are or how much effort they need. That's your high level estimate. Now, let's say we've got a new initiative comes along we think it's 200 points, for argument's sake. We then break that into epics and we farm them out to the teams that are doing the work. They'll appear on the team's backlog and their board. It won't be a surprise to them because we'll have had a conversation about it first. One of the first things I see that goes out the window sometimes is when you have a process and, and, and technology to be able to you know, put work out like this, people stop talking to each other and that's not the case. It should just support the process, still have the conversations. Anyway, when the team gets that epic, they can then start to flesh it out. They'll then uh, put stories and the tasks that are required to deliver it. They'll estimate them as well. And it's these more accurate estimates will flow back up. It's that dotted line back that's often missing um, and replace that initial high level estimate of 200 points with the more accurate estimate of maybe 250 points. And now, and this is the magic bit, we can replan based on that more accurate information. Really important. Now, don't be put off by this, because actually most of you are actually already doing this. You just maybe haven't realized, uh, maybe you're not doing it formally, or you just haven't joined the dots with the fact of that meeting you had and the decisions you made with the actual work that you've got in JIRA. It is important though, um, and if you don't have this process, you know, sort of semi-defined, advanced roadmaps isn't gonna help you.